<laughs> Hi guys! I'm all in Christmas mood again. <laughs> Can you hear it? <laughs> so it's another Friday again and today I'm doing another uh, shout out. Uh, this shout out is again a little bit different than the uh, previous ones. So again I'm not cooking and not baking but I'm doing a shout out to someone whose uh, advent calendar inspired me to make my own uh, homemade advent calendar and I want to share uh, how I made it because so many people on Instagram were requesting it so I hope you will like it and I want to say a big thank you to Crazy Eye Maria Aponi, my uh, YouTube friend from Germany. Uh, I saw her uh, advent calendar, so she made a different kind of advent calendar, but also herself, uh, which she has hanging um, on her, on top of her uh, sofa, like this um, kind of um, uh, string I don't know string yeah and then she has the little packages hanging there so it's really beautiful kind of uh, deco piece so you can see that either on her YouTube account or on her Instagram account and uh, also I won uh, a giveaway that Maria was uh, doing and I want to say a big thank you to her again. I bought some really nice things uh, that I wanted to buy uh, a long time ago and then I just got a chance to use the giveaway uh, Amazon um, card <laughs> and use it for the things I wanted to buy. So big thank you to you again Maria for the lovely present and uh, about her channel, she does this kind of um, lifestyle vlogging, kind of vlogging. So she tells about her life and uh, uh, she shows a little bit about her uh, house. So she does um, like um, styling in the house and she shows how that looks. And also she does some cooking once in a while. So check out her channel, say big uh, hi from Elisa and subscribe <laughs> and now let's start uh, making the advance calendar but shh, don't tell my boyfriend because he's not supposed to see what's inside the calendar <laughs> You will also need a piece of cardboard. So start with measuring uh, the sizes of the bags that you will need to make. So the paper bags so that the gift uh, fits in. Then fold it in half and then just over the half, half uh, fold again and fold the other side. Then uh, with some glue, with some paper glue, glue the sides together and leave to dry. Now you can make the bottom folding like this then cut a stripe of the paper and glue on, the, on top of the bottom and again leave to dry. Now you can put the gifts in the back and close the back with stapler. Now to make the number, cut out a piece of uh, paper, any paper of your choice and draw a heart or any shape that you want. And then write the number on the piece of paper. So you will need to have the numbers from 1 to 24. And then add some glue to the paper piece and glue it to your bag. 
Now if you want you can make some extra decorations on the back. I'm using gift ribbon here and I'm making a bow out of it. So first make a knot at the center and then uh, with the stapler staple it on the bag and then make the bow. And now you want to repeat this uh, with all of the 24 gifts. So make a specific bags for each gift. Remember to allow the glued parts to dry before you proceed. Once you have done all of the bags, cut out a piece of cardboard where you can fit all of the bags. Then cover it with some wrapping paper. I use the same wrapping paper that I used for the bags. Once you have wrapped the cardboard, you can start placing the bags on the cardboard to see how they will all fit. You can also place them on top of each other. Just make sure that you have the latest dates at the bottom and the first dates on top. So glue them with some um, duct tape. I use transparent tape. And then you can also add some uh, decorations uh, made with the gift uh, ribbon while you're gluing them or taping taping the bags to the background. Again make sure you have the last date first and then you have the first dates on top because you will be opening the first dates first and the last dates at the end. Then I added some snowflakes also for decorations. Thank you for watching my video. Bye bye until next time.